Do you know that Kurt Cobain has over 100 unreleased songs? Have you ever wondered how Kurt managed to record their iconic album Nevermind while being homeless? Or, have you heard about the time when Nirvana was kicked out of their own record release party? Do you think you know everything there is to know about Kurt Cobain? Well, think again. In this video, we'll reveal some fascinating facts and rare footage about Kurt Cobain and his band that you may not have seen or heard before. The lead singer of Nirvana, one of the world's most popular rock bands. One of the pioneers behind the sound known as grunge, Kurt Cobain. Kurt Cobain's music moved a generation of young people. Kurt Cobain, the leader of one of rock's most gifted and promising bands, Nirvana, is dead. Some people don't understand why the media has glorified a man who did drugs and ultimately shot himself. From fecal matter to Nirvana, before settling on the name Nirvana, Kurt Cobain and his bandmates went through several terrible band names including Pen Cap Chew, Ted Ed Fred, Skid Row which later used by a New Jersey rock band, and the cringe-worthy fecal matter. Imagine having that name on your t-shirt. Thankfully, they eventually settled on the iconic name Nirvana. Homeless yet record-breaking, despite being homeless, Kurt Cobain recorded the album, Never Mind, which went on to sell 2 million copies. Sleeping in his car or crashing at his mother's place, he spent his days recording in the studio and his nights sleeping in his car. When he played the album to his mother for the first time, she rightly predicted that it would change his life forever. Elton John suffered collateral damage because of Nirvana's war with Guns N' Roses. Kurt Cobain considered Axl Rose, the frontman of Guns N' Roses, to be a homophobe and a racist. At the 1992 MTV Video Music Awards, two pianos were set up on stage for an epic performance of November Rain. Kurt spit on the keys of one of the pianos believing Axl was going to play on it. To his horror, he later found out that he had given a coat of saliva on the piano that would later be played by the legendary Elton John. Heroin Overdose Before a Live Show Kurt had a long history of substance abuse that began at a young age. His addiction to heroin was particularly severe, with him spending a staggering $100 per day on the drug. One notorious incident occurred on July 23, 1993, when Cobain overdosed on heroin before a scheduled gig at the Roseland Ballroom in New York City. The singer turned blue, but incredibly managed to recover in time to play the show and even do a magazine photo shoot. Nirvana's PR manager, Anton Brooks noted that, believe it or not, Nirvana were very professional when they needed to be. Smells like teen spirit. It's one of the most iconic songs in rock history. But did you know that the title of the song came from a piece of graffiti and a misunderstanding? It all started with a casual conversation about punk rock between Kurt Cobain's girlfriend and a friend. When the friend, Kathleen Hanna Spray painted, Kurt smells like teen spirit. On the wall, Unaware that Teen Spirit was actually the name of Kurt's girlfriend Toby Vale's deodorant, Cobain thought it was a revolutionary statement, and the rest is history. Nirvana got thrown out of their own record release party. Geffen Records invited guests to celebrate the release of Nirvana's iconic album, Nevermind, on Friday the 13th. But the event turned chaotic when frontman Kurt Cobain started a food fight that got him and his bandmates kicked out. But the night was far from over as the band continued to party, first standing outside the club and talking to their friends through the window before moving to a friend's place, where Cobain caused a commotion by shooting a fire extinguisher and the party had to be evacuated. And just when you thought the night couldn't get any wilder, Cobain tossed a gold record plaque by the group Nelson into a microwave, declaring it an affront to humankind. It was a night to remember for everyone involved, except maybe for the bouncers. The Fascinating Story of Kurt Cobain's Unreleased Songs Kurt Cobain was not only a brilliant musician, but also an incredibly prolific songwriter, crafting over 100 unheard songs for Nirvana that have remained hidden from the world. Some of these songs were later covered by other artists, while others were played live by Nirvana but never officially recorded. Among the most sought-after unreleased tracks are Do Re Mi, You Know You're Right, and Talk To Me. In addition to these songs, there are also rumors of entire unreleased albums, including a solo acoustic album. However, his legacy lives on through his art, 
and the unreleased material holds a precious glimpse into Cobain's artistic evolution. This 13-year-old cousin of the Shelleys for the past couple of years has had her walls covered in new kids on the block posters. And dolls. she heard our album and she had dolls and everything. And she heard our album, never mind. And she tore all her posters down yeah. and burnt her dolls. Oh, she's yeah. a terror. Yeah. She's a terror. In her. She's smoking cigarettes. She's got a tattoo. Yeah, that's right. She just takes the car now. You know, she's right. not even old enough to drive. <laughs> <laughs> so, did you enjoy learning? all those incredible, lesser-known facts about Kurt Cobain? If you did, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. It motivates me to make more videos like this. Also, we'd love to hear what you thought of the video, so drop us a comment below and let's keep the conversation going. Thanks for tuning in. See you in the next video.